Hello, and uh, welcome to a different kind of video, kind of like a guide, I guess you could say. Be over um, keybinds, preferences, controls, UI, um, first target modifier, movement uh, in this video. And I will start with basically see how my UI currently looks. Uh, I think this is a good layout, but obviously there's certain things that will be definitely different between mine and your UI, whether it's default or not. Uh, first thing first, you probably want to go to preferences, go to controls. Most likely you might want to turn on auto target closest to enemies. This is super nice. Enable focus target. You're going to need this. It's very important. And um, obviously, you can turn on that. Um, don't recommend messing with camera rotation speed because that will change the rate of turning like this, and it can definitely cause some uh, thickening issues. Also, mouse acceleration, for whatever reason in this game, is really messed up. So sometimes when you jump to someone, you might go, Whoosh, and it, it looks awful. And it used to make me sick, so um, definitely recommend not messing with that. There is a um, several threads where you can Google and figure out how to lower it even further if you use a high DPI like mine. Um, also, ability queue, you should put that on zero, 0 if you have rel relatively good uh, MS to the server slash ping. If you have higher ping, then you might want to look into getting ability action queue so you can optimize using all your GCDs. Um, these are also preference uh, flight decks. You don't have to look at that. Don't have to really look at that. I would say I would turn off that if, uh, if you're not parsing, I was parsing earlier. I turn it off. Um, user interface. Now this is uh, a lot of uh, preference here. Uh, you want this if you're a sniper, by the way. Uh, if you ever wonder where your cover bar went, you know, make sure you have that on. Uh, going down, I want to see where is it. Operation frames. Okay, so use operation frames as group frames. You probably want to turn that on if you PvP or whether you're not. This is very helpful. And then you'll also want to turn this to probably max text size and show tens of seconds and show cooldown text. You want to enable that. And that's pretty much for everything here. Uh, go into nameplates. It's my personal settings. I would always recommend having a nameplate on yourself and showing class symbols so you know what you're going up against. Um, I see a lot of people without any of this on, and it just looks awful. You can't tell what class they are. You can't tell a lot of useful information right off the bat. Um, but that's pretty much all that, all of that for that section. Um, I also recommend with targeting, unbind pretty much everything everywhere in here, so you don't end up accidentally hitting something and you're like stuck, numb luck, running around in circles. Uh, it's happened to me a couple of times. I couldn't figure out how to turn it off because I accidentally hit something on the keyboard. Eventually, unbound stuff and it fixed it. Um, for the most part, you can put follow target. I, I don't know why this is a thing, but it's kind of cool. You can do slash follow trade and friend, by the way. Don't know if you guys knew that. There's probably more too. Um, I also recommend um, unbinding uh, turn left and right and turn uh, A and say start for left and D and start for right. That is uh, definitely the number one thing, and there's a reason why we're going to just pause on the uh, the key bindings for now, and I'll show you why. So I have myself focused here. I'm going to focus here this person, just, just get this out of the way. Um, so I'm facing this way, right? Say this is a warrior, he just jumped on me. I'm going to turn my camera, and then I'm going to click down with my, uh, this is my left click. Yeah, my left click. So this one doesn't turn my camera or my character, but I can see everything all around me. I, if I right click, I turn my camera to the side and I start hitting D. So you see how I'm facing against him, or my back is facing against him? That is a way to maximize your kiting, but also still being able to hit him because he's technically in your field of view. So I'll show you how he's in the field of view. I'm not facing him, I'm not looking at him, and I'm still able to DPS while I'm running away. Uh, this is something that you should definitely master as a ranged DPS, especially one that has mobility and on-the-move channeling abilities because this will really help you, especially in race with uh, instant abilities like shock and everything else. Definitely recommend learning it and um, maximizing your cutting ability. Just using S key just doesn't doesn't cut it, and I hate to see the people that still do this. Uh, it's not terrible, but there's so many better ways you can move in this game. 
so many better ways. Um, we'll get to Vogue's turn later. Let's go back to preferences and keybinds. Uh, let's go back to targeting. Alright, so um, I don't know about you guys, but if you have a decent enough keyboard where you can remap your keys, definitely recommend rebinding caps lock. You should probably rebind it to uh, repurpose it to like shift tab or something and have it to target either nearest ally or next enemy so you can tab through um, multiple people. I always have tab target for nearest and then uh, caps lock the tag, tag to the uh, the next person if I can't seem to get tab to work. Tab nearest doesn't work uh, efficiently so it's always good to have two different targeting and also if you need to intercede to get away or heal somebody near you Having target nearest is super helpful for like lethality and uh, vengeance slash rage, for example, or even immortal too. Uh, it's helpful for guarding too. However, I highly recommend don't uh, hinder yourself on that. If you use that too much and you get used to it, you're most likely not going to be able to target the right person and guard them on time. Don't do that. Um, that's one way you can fit in an extra keybind. It's definitely really worth it. Um, so, self-target modifier. How this works is if you hold your self-target modifier, let's say you're a healer, you're you're targeting this person. He really needs heals, but you also need heals too. What you can do is hold the modifier, but still keep him targeted, and you can heal yourself. And then you can also just continue healing him when you let go of the modifier. And then you can also hit the modifier for focus target. So you can have three people targeted all at once. So yourself, uh, focus target, and your regular target. If you hold the focus target modifier, you're healing the focus target. If you hold the self modifier, you're healing yourself. You leave your targeted. Without any modifiers, you heal them. So, that's pretty nice. It's definitely two people at once. Not three. Um, but basically, you want to put your focus tar target modifier to a keybind that is not a shift, uh, control, or alt combination. And why you want to do that is because they won't work together. So let's say you, this is shift number four. Every keybind has to be shift combination for it to work when you're holding uh, number shift number four down. Otherwise it won't work. So they all have to be non-combinations. That means you can use all of your numpad, all of your home, your arrows, your F keys. You can use all that good stuff as long as you're not using any combo keys. And it'll work just fine. Um, there's a lot of keys to use. Uh, Naga, I highly recommend for this uh, scenario. Getting used to a Naga, I would say just use your regular keybinds and just bind things to your mouse. Once you get used to using your mouse, then change those binds to like numpad keys, and then you've successfully eliminated uh, all your awkward keybinds. Um, also, then being able to optimize modifiers. Uh, they're very useful. Definitely recommend using them. Um, I haven't played Sork in a while, so I haven't maximally optimized my keybinds. Uh, however, in 6.0 I will be going to, and I'll probably go into a pretty in-depth guide over this class because I used to main it. I don't main it anymore, but uh, 6.0 Sork's going to be pretty strong, so I'm going to have some fun playing it. Um, definitely recommend unbinding everything that you don't need. It makes a huge difference. Um, also this, I never reset that, but if you have Shadow Play, uh, Alt-Z is the default keybind to open Shadow Play, so if you want to tell your interface, you probably want to change that. Um, most of these I either unbound or rebound to a shift combination. Most of these I don't need to use because I just use the menu here on the left-hand side. Um, camera, you know, that's useful, yes. But uh, going from there, I'm going to show you exactly how focus target works. So my target is this guy, or no, my focus target is that guy. This is my target. So I'm going to DPS this person. Let's say this is a huge clump of warriors, and this is a healer that I need to kill. If I hold the focus target, I then can AoE the huge clump of warriors, and then I can continue to DPS. So obviously I hit the modifier and accident there. Continue DPSing there. And then I can hit the modifier, hit them, hit the healer, and you know, it's... It's a little wonky with these guys because they get out of combat, but for the most part, if you have two different targets, you can maximize hitting two different targets and applying pressure on two different people, which is really nice. It's something that you should get used to, and obviously you can 
kick too, which is great. You can also uh, there. Let's do this right. You can also do a whirlwind. So I'm targeting this person, but I just whirlwind that one because that's my focus turn. Um, it's very important to do a very uh, useful as a range to master, along with the, the movement. Focus turret is super useful. Um, as a tank, target of target. So when I hit this, you see the target of target. This is how you know if you've lost aggro or um, they just swap targets or somebody else pulled aggro off of you. Target of target is something that you should pay attention to as a tank if you're a tank and you're playing PvE. Uh, also, it helps you tell who they're hitting, so you can like guard. You can take target of target. You can set that bind up. Uh, there is a bind for taking target of target. So if you just target somebody and then always just take their target, you can guard that person. You basically always guard who they're hitting, but always keep in mind that they can just use focus target and have a fake target and just DPS the the focus target the entire time as long as they hold it down. Um, so don't be too lazy about that. Um, what else do I want to get? We got keybinds for the most part, preferences. We got controls. We got UI. Uh, no, we didn't go too much into UI, so I'll show you some things with UI. Focus target modifier, we did. Movement, we did. Alright, so number one thing I would say is always put your player caspar below the uh, frames so you, it doesn't get uh, as overwhelmed by your debuff tray and your buff tray. Um, another thing is, is when you click on the portraits, you can do a show information te text. I always recommend going in and uh, turning on the show information text. Uh, there it is right there. And if you're going to do um, highly debuffs and buffs, put it to one minute below so you don't have a clutter of uh, tons of things. Uh, you can also do this for target of target and focus target. So you can also see the uh, information text on them. It's definitely super useful. Um, the main quick bar is here. I don't use it. This is a temporary uh, bar. This is where your hot ball will show. This is also where your legacy slash heroic mom moment will show up. So you need to have this just like somewhere and have it enabled if you ever want to get rid of the hot ball. And if you ever wanted to keep on that again, I know some people probably are really confused when we lost it from the P panel. It's going to be temporary uh, temporary ability bar slot one. So if you want to rebind that, that's how you will do it. Uh, but for the most part, you can pretty much customize everything. And another good thing is to learn this. The minimap, if somebody stops out and you're zoomed out on the minimap. So let's go here real quick. So we're zoomed out and we're in arena. Uh, Marauder goes to camo and he's running around the corner like over here. Say you ran over here to, to heal. You start seeing him here, but you don't see him here because you're just like not looking over and then it'll show a little red dot on the uh, map, and you can just immediately run over there and kill them. Uh, it's one thing that you can look on your map to try to figure out where people have gone. Uh, definitely something you should learn as a ranked player. Um, what else with the UI can you do? System messages. This is another thing. This usually has a 9 millimeter screen. It's the red text that non-stop spams you. It's really annoying. Personally, some people need it to know when something's ready or not. Personally, I don't like it. I just move it out of the way. Sometimes I disable it, but most of the time I just move it out of the way because it doesn't need to be in your face for the most part. Um, I also edit my operation frames to only show two groups instead of the full amount because I usually only PvP. I don't care about the raids. And if I do a raid, I don't want to do more than eight man. That's just personal preference. You can edit this however you want. Uh, however, if you only do PvP, I would definitely recommend optimizing it to only two groups so you can optimize the space that you have on your screen. It's very useful. Um, a combat state is here. This, is some, this should be somewhere uh, important. So you can always use your uh, regen. So you know when you're in and out of combat. It's very important. But uh, going into for the most part, you can change this. So you can go to all and you can see everything. UI related, and then you can go to like Warzone, you can see all the Warzone stuff, I have the Arena scorecard here, that's just personal preference. But you can move everything however you want, I usually move it a little bit out of the way so I can see my quest if I'm tracking my quest. Usually I don't track my quest, but sometimes I do. Uh, when they're new, I track them, but when I've known them for a while, I just stop tracking them. Holocom is something that you usually only need in story, so uh, I would enable it, just put it wherever. I guess, doesn't really matter. 
group frames, if you don't use operation frames, this is you know obviously edible too. You can put uh, show information text on these guys too, I think. Yeah, you can. However, I've just never used group frames pretty much ever. So um, definitely recommend making that change. And also you can snap off this tool tip from the uh, map, but the map is still useful. I just don't see a reason to unsnap that. Uh, the map is always useful. Um, another cool thing is, um, let's show you that real quick. Where's my temp I don't know, temporary? Here's the quick wire that I usually use it for. Okay, so I usually put on uh, abilities here like when I am learning something new where just my muscle memory is failing and I can't remember uh, like the cooldowns of certain abilities. You can put important abilities on here and you can obviously change this to be like sideways or you can like make it only at three abilities and then you can turn the, the fade down so you can barely see it and you can have it like here or something and uh, with that you can basically uh, see the cooldowns of your abilities without technically looking down here. You can just see them at all times like directly in your line of sight and have them faded. Uh, you'll still sadly click onto them and drag them off uh, if you don't have your key, or you know, your key one, but your slots locked. Or even locking your slots, but if you switch your spec a lot, there's no point in locking it. Um, but it's still incredibly useful. It's something that I used for a long time that really helped me but I don't use it anymore because I don't really need the muscle memory practice anymore because I've just played this game consistently. Um, but for the most part, I think I've covered everything. If you guys have any questions or anything else that you want me to cover or just help in general, I'm more than happy to help. I'm usually always available at some point within 24 hours to probably respond. Um, I will be making, uh, what do you call it, guides coming 6.0 and probably more videos like this as a whole to help you guys. I really would like to see the population grow and not only that, just kind of like be better and kind of understand what's uh, coming from other classes and how to play against it. So it would be nice to have really good matches again. Most matches now are uh, definitely a shell of what they used to be and it's, it's okay. This game is still incredibly fun and that's why most people still play. But I know that everybody wants to uh, be good at the, the game they play. Personally, I just find that a shame. But nonetheless, um, PTS, uh, if you're watching this in the future, this probably has uh, no relevance. PTS, uh, balancing phase is supposed to start next week. Uh, or basically not next week, but this week. And that means that hopefully we'll be actually, actually able to test things for free and actually give feedback. So I highly recommend, if you haven't downloaded PTS, to do it now and test things out. We need players, we need people to PvP, you know, they just need bodies to test things out and say, hey, this isn't working, this doesn't work at all, or hey, this is a little too broken, etc. All this stuff just helps a lot, and if we don't, then, you know, somebody might grind for something and it doesn't work. That would suck. But uh, nonetheless, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I appreciate you guys for watching this, especially if you watched all of it. Um, but nonetheless, I will probably have another video next week. If not, I'll try to get to you guys sooner. I do have some lightning footage that I should upload. I've been sitting on it for so long. So forgive me for not uploading it. 